Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So here uh, I'm with the model analysis. In the previous session, I had covered the static structural analysis on the same thing, the supporting frame. And here we'll just consider the uh, model analysis and how to deal with this. And in the later on session, we're gonna cover the non-linear analysis as well as the uh, vibration analysis as well. Before getting into this analysis, I would also request you to go through this particular uh, session that is introduction to uh, model analysis and the basics of frequency analysis. So there, uh, theory part will be covered so that you can get the better idea about what exactly we are doing here. Okay. Well, let's get started with this analysis. Yeah. So here, uh, I had carried the analysis for the rectangular tube as well as the C tube of this uh, support frames. So here model analysis and the transcendent analysis I had uh, added to this particular static analysis as well. Okay. So I'll showcase what you need to do uh, to deal with this particular analysis. So initially we have done these things right in the part one session. So now how we need to uh, deal with the model analysis. So what exactly it is and how we need to carry out this thing so let's say if you're going to deal with the model analysis you can use this so this is used to calculate the uh, natural frequency or resonant frequency of the particular uh, components okay so let's say I'm going to just extract only the model or else you can just keep it here okay at the new one if you want to extract the same module you can just click on this let me just show the same same thing just hover on the just select it and see if you hover it it will take these all the things like geometry model and the data and it will give you the uh, frequency analysis to work on so you can even copy the previously created study uh, properties okay now here i'll create a new one can right click and you can use the import and i'll use the c section which i had used it so i'll just open the model and i'll show how to carry out the model analysis that is the frequency analysis and after that i'll explain what and all i had done here so don't worry about it okay so this is the model the mesh i would like to take it as default i'm not going to change anything here when it comes to this we can simply uh, select this one the model right click and insert i'm going to use the fixed support i'd like to take only these faces as a reference we'll just imagine at the moment okay and then when I click on this analysis settings, the modes, by default it is six. Remember, always try to extract the uh, modes around 100 to 200 so that it should have the mass participation factor approximately more than 75 to 80 percent. That will showcase what exactly it is. But here for our convenience, I'll take it up to 200 okay or 250 just remember you can even consider six or seven that's fine but remember mass participation factor plays very important role while dealing with the uh, natural frequency or resonant frequency uh, consideration well so once you define it you can simply run this analysis so assumption csr we are not going to consider any of the uh, loadings okay we'll be uh, taking only the static uh, conditions here and only the fixtures we're gonna consider if you want you can even remove that automatically software will try to constrain your model with respect to the requirement okay these are the two important things uh, one is the loading conditions are static and there is no complex contacts like we'll consider all bonded okay i'll run the study to just 
explain you how to consider the natural frequencies or failure modes and the resonance frequencies for the particular models yeah so once you run the analysis you're gonna get the all the results here up to 250 but i'm not going to extract everything so i want only the first initial 15 i'll simply right click i'll select only these and create mode shapes here so all the mode shape will be imported here right click and evaluate these results for now okay now as i said if you want to check the resonant frequency or failure frequency or natural frequency of any component we need to deal with the uh mode shapes here okay the failure modes let's say the deformation of the first one you could see this is like this you can just animate this with respect to the practical approach this particular component will not behave like this right with respect to the boundary condition which you want to apply so you can neglect the same thing this can you even see this is not going to happen with respect to our practical uh loading condition which we had applied previously okay we are not going to consider any talks and all these all are the natural frequencies of this particular model remember that okay if someone asks you this all are the natural frequencies of this particular component but the thing is with respect to the practical approach the boundary conditions which we had applied according to that what i need to consider that plays very important role here keep on checking the same thing 11th one let's try this we can consider right 11th one shows 276 hertz this might be possible okay we are applying the loads here right and 12th if i consider even 12th also might be possible because if you apply the load this might happen 12th is 18 hertz no so here from these things we can consider 11th or 12th approximately so it is how much 276 to 318 so i can consider around 250 to uh 12th is 320 hertz or approx like if you want to consider exactly what you can do is you can go with the solution information okay you can just scroll down and these are the mass participation factors okay along rotary directions xyz and along xyz directions as i said this is along x direction mass participation factors effective mass and these values so from at the last you'll get the total thing so it is 86 percent so this is fine even with along y direction also you can consider this is 72 percent so this is fine so if you want to extract only that things you can go to this uh, solver output and you can select the participation factor summary from here you can analyze so 42 hertz these are the uh, participation factors yeah to uh, just uh, help you out with this uh, here it is quite complicated to just select which mode safe is a, a perfect one and uh, with respect to the mass participation how we need to consider the results what i'll do is uh, i'll create one more study so here uh i'd like to import the model so you can just go with the import browse the location so i'll add the stunning fork uh so i'd like to keep the uh the resonant frequency or natural frequency of the tuning fork secret so that you can just uh easily recall what exactly the natural frequency of the tuning fork we'll see from this analysis here okay so this is i'm just adding to help you out how to consider the resonant frequency of failure modes or the failure frequency of any of the model okay let's say this is the tuning fork I'm not going to fix anything here so anyway if you don't fix the model or the anyway if you don't fix these things software will try to just uh, constrain all the degrees of freedom you don't need to worry about it so at the moment uh, let me just select the frequencies of 215 okay i need it i'll simply run nothing else okay so let's see how it's gonna help so by default it will take the mesh size as well if you want you can refine it but i'll go with the v6 
simple thing i haven't done anything here okay it's quite simple so the mesh is it is too why i'll just refine it certain level so this will help us yeah now this is fine okay now i'd like to just take these all the modes right click and extract them just evaluate all the results now i'll just go with the uh solution information output i'll just select the mass participation factors uh yeah when it comes to the effective mass ratio you could see these are the results so it is one for these all yeah so when it comes to the effective mass ratios uh you need to consider which is near to one okay uh, you want to have all the results here you need to remember the natural frequency which is the lowest one would be the preferable but with respect to this you're going to get this one so effective mass ratio should be close to one so from this i can consider uh six seven or eight within these three i can consider any of the natural frequency would be fine but now how to evaluate which is the perfect one so to deal with that you need to just check the modes okay this is the first mode you could see this is the model you can just animate this the first mode it is free to move it is moving along direction so again this is also same thing it is rotating same thing so if it is the case it will try to restrain the things all the first six means you already know there are six degrees of freedom right three translation and three rotational so it will try to constrain along all the degrees of freedoms and then so when i go for this when it is moving let's switch to seventh one you could see the mode deformation so this is how it is moving but when it, with respect to the practical condition this is the mechanism right this is how it's gonna vibrate so with respect to that the seventh mode it is 443 hertz right 443 hertz for the tuning fork when i switch to the mode shape this one will it be like this no right it won't rotate like this so it won't uh, behave like this practically even this is not the possible even like this if you go keep on increasing these are not the required mode say, shapes so when i go back to the seventh one so this shows the practical application so this is the required mode and with respect to that you're gonna see the natural frequency it is resonant frequency 443 hertz so evaluate this one so you can just google it the natural frequency of the tuning fork it is 432 hertz 443 hertz near to that okay 440 hertz 440 hertz right so same thing you're gonna get it here okay so uh, ultimate aim is to find out the model analysis of frequency analysis is the failure mode that is the resonant frequency the natural frequency of the component so that it should not match to uh, the working natural working frequency so let's say if this tuning fork if you uh, take another tuning fork and if you just vibrate it and if you keep a same uh, resonant frequency tuning fork near to that both will start vibrating so this is called as resonance to avoid this uh, this is fine here but when it comes to the practical application there might be drastic a uh, failure there might be some uh, good applications as well like the pianos and the guitar and all so with respect to the things these uh, these will happen here but remember with respect to the practical application if this uh, if you get the uh, closer mode shape you need to consider that particular natural frequency same thing with respect to the this conditions as well so this is how you need to uh, deal with the uh, natural frequency analysis i hope you got it how to extract the uh, modes and how to consider the natural frequency of the particular model so i'd like to explain how you we have considered this here 
so particularly I had considered this geometry that is rectangular tube and when I go back to the setup and I already extracted the results and you could see these are the modes and when I see these things so 12th one is not okay yeah 11th one has the quite practical requirement here so 11th one is 472 point two five would be my natural frequency eleventh one will not be fine okay with respect to the working condition you can check and that will be or maybe your required natural frequency okay yep so that's all about this session guys so i hope you got the brief idea about the model analysis and how to extract the natural frequencies the range of natural frequencies to consider the uh, future vibration analysis as well to carry out the uh, random vibration harmonic analysis as well to extract the frequencies and displacement and the rms results at all okay so this is the basics guys that's all thank you stay tuned bye everyone